Guys trying to take my tea again. Mint tea, it's good. You guys know what time it is? It's story time. Get ready, get relaxed, get caffeinated, because here we go. What I wanted to talk about today, guys, was a consistency. So being consistent in job performance, being consistent in your own personal life, being consistent for those people who rely on you, people in your personal life. Why is it important to be consistent? To start, it's it develops a sense of trust with people. If you show a good work ethic, if you show a good sense of consistency and you bring that consistency to the table and you bring that work ethic to the table every single day at your work. We'll talk about work to start for work, for example. It gives your employers, it gives people you work with, gives your employees a sense of reliability. That even, even in a storm, even in a challenging situation, you maintain your consistency, you become automatically reliable. So they're going to want to put you in situations, going to rely on you to take a difficult situation on, a difficult task on. Why? Because they know you can handle it. Because you've shown and you've proven and you've shown your worth that you can bring your consistency into your work ethic no matter what. Through thick or thin, you can bring it through the storm no matter what. And that applies to your personal relationships too. As long you know, someone like me who's 33 now, you know, I have a mother who's getting older and it's important to develop, bring consistency to her life, knowing that she's going to rely on me for certain things. Any of you who have older parents, they're going to start to rely on you for certain things. And it's your job as an adult to bring that consistency to the table. Because what happens when you don't? What happens if you're unpredictable? You know, one day you don't feel like, you know, bringing value to the people in your life. And the next day you're just like, oh, I just, you know, people are expecting a certain standard from you. People are expecting a certain consistency from you. And just one day you decide you don't want to because you don't, you don't feel like it. They're gonna. They're not gonna look for you. They're not gonna look to you to lead them. They're not gonna look for you to you to bring any kind of value. They're gonna look to someone else, who's not gonna shake and quiver at the smallest sign of adversity in their, in their life. And yeah, it takes time. It takes time, and it takes time to build that emotional thick skin to bring that. Consistency, consistency to the table. I don't know why that's a hard word to say if you're saying it over and over again, but consistency to the table. And you got to do that over and over again. For me, in my life, I'm a personal trainer, so I like to go to the gym and, you know, as a trainer, yeah, you got to go and train yourself. you got to you got to be that image, you know, you can't, you can't go to consultations and be fat and out of shape. If you're a trainer, you got, you got to lead by example and you got, you got to be fit and they got to look at you as someone that's going to get them in shape and someone's going to light a fire up their, up their ass and get them to move. So you got to maintain some sort of consistency in your own workouts. And every day, that's every day doing some sort of exercise to maintain that center. You got to maintain yourself, even in times when you really don't feel like it. Your days you wake up and you really, really don't feel like, like training today. It doesn't matter. Those are the days that you need going to train the most. And those are the days that are really going to matter. You got to push yourself into that consistency to, it takes time. 
it takes when you're younger it's when you're younger it's a little bit you're learning and you're developing so it's yeah it's difficult to maintain that because it's your emotions go up and down when you're younger when you're developing when you're an adolescent so develop and learning learning to care about something too developing a sense of purpose for yourself and it's when you're young, when you're a teenager, you don't care about a whole lot. And there's a lot of, just a lot of inconsistency for yourself. Because you don't know what, know what you want yet. It's a lot easier to be consistent every day. When you know what you want. When you know you have a goal. When you know you have a destination. So you just, you hack at it, man. You work at it brick by brick every day. And I remember watching an interview with Will Smith and remember him mentioning that the interviewer asked him, like, what was his, what was his recipe for success? How did he start off the way he started on The Fresh Prince and then built himself up? I remember he saying he just looked at it, he just lo looked at it as building a brick wall. You've got to get a big ass wall to build. That's going to take a lot of time. So what do you do? Brick by brick. Take a brick, you set it down. The next day, you take another brick, you set it down. The next day, you take two bricks, you put them down. And if you're setting one brick a day, in about a year, you'll have 365 bricks. That's gonna be a wall to develop. Will, Will Smith brought his consistency by doing one little task, one brick, every single day. And at the end of that, he developed the big, became the big star that he is today. And it, just, it took time, just consistent, consistency. How many times have I said consistency in this video? How many times have I screwed up the word consistency in this video? Count. Yeah, and it just takes time every day. But like I said in the beginning, it just... You're going to be more valuable to people by bring, bringing it every day. People are going to know what to expect from you. People are going to rely on you. Because no matter what, you bring your ethic, you bring your value to the table, and you bring that consistency every single day and you're going to be more important in people's lives because of that excuse me while well, I take a sip of my green tea mm -hmm. why do I drink tea every single day only started it recently to keep my that keep my system warm and healthy Keep the hot fluids going through my body to protect myself from you know what out there. But it's consistency. Keeping my body healthy every day. I've been doing it every day since self-isolation. Every day. I don't, I don't stop. And it's good for you every single day. And it's okay. Because that then I'll be protected. On that note, guys, thank you for watching. If you like this video and this was valuable, hit the like button, subscribe, and whether you're working out, whether you're taking care of yourself, whether you're adding value to the people around you, bring it every day. Be consistent. I said it properly that time. That's probably the 40th time I said it. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you in another life. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye. Thank you.